Hey guys, today's video is a review of a cowbell that I bought from AliExpress from China for like, I don't know, I think it was 12 bucks or something. Really, 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 really cheap. Considering like an LP cowbell can be 50, 75 bucks, 100, depending on which one it is. Um, this is dirt cheap and I just got it, so uh, not sponsored or anything. We're just going to honestly check it out. So, pull it out of the bag. And as usual for Alibaba, there's a bag inside the bag, so we'll have to get into that. Weirdly, there isn't a third bag, because usually there is on this kind of stuff. But, we have here what I think is a 9-inch cowbell, and you can already see that the surface finish well, it looks like it's powder-coated, but it's been damaged in shipping. Because, of course, it's just in a bag, but, you know, I don't think that's going to really affect the playability. So we'll see comes with just a simple screw mount, not the sort of normal ring inside of a hole with the screw kind of three-piece setup. This is more of a, just a two-piece setup. We'll see how it goes. I'll mount it over here where I normally put my cowbell. I don't have space to put it. <laughs> it's comically large. Okay, here we go. Let me try to figure this out. Okay, it does mount up, so we're good. Real quick, in the middle of this review, sorry, you should check out my app, Rudimentia, at rudimentia.com, where there'll be a link below, and it's a rudiment practice app. You can play along to a metronome, there's play along MIDI audio, you can do uh, different tempos, anything you need. There's obviously notation on it, so it goes along with my book, Encyclopedia Rudimentia. Okay, back to the cowbell. So I got this particular cowbell because, of course, the cowbell that I had before, is much smaller, about half the size. And this is more of a sango or like a salsa bell. And this behemoth is more of a mambo bell or maybe just a rock cowbell. We're gonna see how it sounds in a second. Um, but I wanted to have some cowbell options here that made a little bit uh, of a difference. Like I didn't wanna have very similar cowbells. I wanted to have something really distinctly different. And for this price, I thought, you know, let's go for it. So first thoughts on this thing, it's very, very ringy, the way that it just comes naturally from the factory. That could be good in certain situations, I don't know, it sounds kind of cool. Um, when you just shove something in there, like the packaging it came in, which you saw me do, uh, it deadens it down a lot. You could probably also achieve that by like taping something to the bottom or whatever. There's a number of ways to dampen a cowbell, you could probably put a moon gel on here or whatever you wanted. Um, but if you dampen it down a little bit, you get more of that rock cowbell sound, that thunking 80s, 70s kind of rock cowbell type of sound. It's not a ridge rider, but you get close. So it's actually sort of versatile depending on how you dampen it, whether you get a really ringy, bright cowbell or a low thunking cowbell. I think it sounds pretty good. The mounting hardware hasn't given me any issue whatsoever, even though it's super basic. Um, it's just on like a regular LP claw here on my kick hoop. So um, it's held fast to that just fine. Obviously, I've only played it for a couple of minutes. But I think for the price, this is a reasonable large sort of rock mambo-ish cowbell uh, as far as I can tell at this point. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.